Auric Gas, hello and welcome to my 24th Blue 3D tutorial. And as you know, I have not been posting videos recently. And that is because I was developing my very own 2D platform game. And now that most of the development, the crucial development process of it is finished, I'm back to posting Blitz 3D tutorials. Yeah, since it wasn't a very big game. So as you know, in this tutorial, I will show you how to animate an object in Blitz 3D itself. Not importing an animation and playing. That's too easy, but I'll still show you how to do that. So, Anyway, uh, animating an object in Blitz 3D probably isn't the best solution in most situations, but since you still need to know it as a part of Blitz 3D basics, I will show you how to do that. So as you can see here, I have a blank program. I don't need to save it anywhere because I'm not importing any animation that I did using external devices. So, for now we're just going to create the object we're going to animate, which I will just name Bamfist. And Bamfist here will be a simple cube, since we don't have enough time to create some kind of fancy object that will make a complex animation. So, yeah. So let's position here our Bamfist. Uh, 0 on the X, 0 on the Y, and 5 on the Z. And let's just color it red. Anyway, that was really simple, basic object creation, and we modified a couple of its properties. And how animation in Blitz 3D works, I'm not going to show you too much animation commands, just ba nearly the basics. How animation works is it works in a for statement. So let's just create a for statement with our variable frames, which is pretty convenient. And let's just have four frames. Oh, uh, yeah, four frames, okay. Anyway, let's end it with next, and yeah. So now we have four frames in our in our animation. So first of all, let's position our bam fist. Oh yeah, and before that, I should probably just create one variable we're going to modify. Width pound is equal to zero. That's just a variable. Variable, and I'll show you what we are going to do with that later. So let's position our BAM fist at the amount of frames, minus 2, so it can fit in the screen, on the X, obviously, comma 0 on the Y, and 5 on the Z. Alright, that's pretty simple, and now, so our, it's just going to move across the screen as the values go up and, yeah, whatever then. Anyway, now we just need to use a handy dandy command set animation key, or set anim key. And we need to set the our animation key. Alright, I'm just going to write this code and just explain it. Here we're setting the frames that we just created onto our object BAMFIST. So that every all, all the commands that we have here will be applied onto that object. So we just set our animation key. After that, we need to create our animation sequence. Now that we've animated our the object, we just need to create a sequence with that object in it. And another command, add anim key. Add anim sequence, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so now we just need to specify the object that we want to include in the sequence and then the number of frames. Just frames, just our variable frames. Add animation sequence object. Bamfist number of frames. And here is our frames variable. Alright then, so, after we've done that, we can just animate our object. Animate, bam, fist. And there are three options here. Zero is no animation. One is a looping animation. Two is a ping pong animation. And three is a one shot animation. We're going to make it loop. So, or ping pong animation, actually. So that's a two. And animation speed, 0 0.15. Alright, now let's run that program. Sorry. Here we go. Simple fist that's moving across the screen. Incredibly simple. Nothing to it. Alright, now let's enhance this fist a bit. And let's just go here and let's make it just like look squ squashed. We're using our width variable. Uh, make sure it's like squashed at the end. So when it just like hits an object, basically. Alright, anyway, let's just do this. 
and let's see what will we do yeah let's just make if frames is greater than three so we are leaving the squashes to the last frame if the frame number is greater than three and any if statement always ends with and if and let's just make width pound equal to width pound minus 0 0.5 and since width is equal to 0 as we assigned here it'll just go to the negatives now to prevent this scale entity we will just yeah sorry we will add one to our width variable so let's just scale our bam fist by our original width plus one so now minus 0 0.5 and it will be 0 0.5 half of its original size on the x-axis uh comma one comma one on the y and the z-axis so we could actually see something actually i would scale it a bit more on the z-axis because we don't need that much because on the z-axis since it's basically a two-dimensional fist for now and now let's run that program we have the same amount let's it's the same thing. Same thing's happening. Huh. Actually, let's just leave it on its original scale on the ZX. I really don't care. But, oh yeah, sorry guys. Here we have a small problem. Well, big problem actually. We need to put a set animation key after we apply all the animation effects. So, set, put the set animation key command before, after, after everything. There we go. So now, we have our fist that's crushing against something. And yeah, it's basically a pretty simple animation, but we don't have the time to do more than that. So now, just one more enhancement to this. Let's make it play one shot after, uh, let's make it play one shot after we hit the space bar. Then, and if, and here we will just place our animate sequence right, here. not animate sequence, just our animate command here, and we need to make it emit one shot. So that's a three, because each single time we hit our space bar, it's going to play it one time and stop. Play it one time and stop. All right, here we go, our regular sized fist. And now, space bar, bam, bam. And it's just creating the effect that it's stretching out as the fist goes forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time right now. This was just to show you the very, very basics of animating an object in Blitz 3D. Incredibly simple, but it does create a pretty nice effect of it just stretching out because... It's, well, it's not really a real-world effect. It's just basically a transform effect. But anyway, that was basically it for this uh, tutorial just showing you the basics of Blitz 3D animation. There's always the command reference in the help section, so you guys can. There are a couple more animation commands in that, but that was just the, the very very basics of it. And really, if you actually created an MD2 animation file or a milkshape animation, you could just like animation name is equal to load anim sequence. You could load your sequence or something something dot md2 comma number of frames that's basically how it just works if you wanted to load some kind of animation and then you could just right away animate it and that takes much less code right out right just animate that sequence that you created yeah guys so basically that was it i showed you how to animate an object in blitz 3d it wasn't very realistic but whatever and now you can just load in your own animations your own animations and and animate them so now you know how to make animations guys so have a nice day and see ya